Okay, right off the bat, the name of this case is orchitis and epididymitis. But we didn't need that label onto this slide. We already know that we're dealing with something here, which when you zoom in quickly, you could see uh, remnants of seminiferous tubules. But you lose the fact that they really are well-formed seminiferous tubules because you can see that they are just surrounded uh, and infiltrated by uh, inflammatory cells. But if you look closely at the uh, remnants of these, you could see inside that there will still be some spermatids and uh, secondary spermatocytes. And generally, even though the vast majority of these tubules have uh, inflammatory cells, looks chiefly chronic, but I think there are, I see some neutrophils here too, is that if you look uh, deeply within these, you'll see remnants of larger cells, which could represent, you know, primary and secondary spermatocytes. And then if you want to go zoom all the way in, I think I can convince you that you're going to be seeing some mature sperm and spermatids within here as well. So I already know that it's a testis and that it's inflamed, so you don't need somebody to tell you the, that the name of this case is uh, orchitis and epididymitis. Let's go uh, back, however, and look at the epididymal portion. We've already seen the inflamed seminiferous tubules here. We can see a very thick capsule around it. And furthermore, we could then see some tissue which looks primarily fibrous, but does have uh, some of these uh, what look like little glandular or tubular areas. And it looks like that they are uh, extensively surrounded by fibrosis and chronic inflammatory cells as well. Um, I might be wrong here, and I apologize if I am, but I know that the classic uh, lining of uh, the uh, epididymis all the way from here down into the uh, uh, vast deference is a simple columnar type of epithelium. It looks to here like it, it looks to me like it's almost squamous metaplastic here. And that could be secondary to the amount of, of brutal forces it's being subjected to by the fact that it's being uh, infiltrated by inflammatory cells in all directions. So you have a chronic inflammation, fibrosis, some acute inflammation. I would probably call that squamous metaplasia because it certainly isn't a simple columnar mucosa. So we have both our uh, epididymitis as well as orchitis. Uh, epididymitis is a lot more common than orchitis. Many, if not most of the cases of orchitis are secondary to epididymitis. A wide variety of bacteria can infect uh, either um, especially the epididymis, uh, that can be uh, even infected with common organisms like a gonococcus. And probably if the epididymitis is severe enough, even if it's secondary to a varicocele or a tumor or um, testicular torsion, often spreads into the uh, uh, testicle rather than vice versa. Uh, thank you very much.